welcome to the squirrel tail. Now, for making this horn, the first thing I'm going to do is take a raw horn. This is kind of an old one I've had laying around. Likely came locally. Um, I'm then going to take, set up my work area. I'm going to take any old rag. Thin piece of wood. And stick that in there. Like I said, I'm trying to show you how to do this with the minimum tools. You can make a little jig like this, just a bore with a drill, a hole drilled in it with a little peg. It'll stick in the vise. That works a little nicer, but this will work too. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all that junk in the back. So I'm going to take some masking tape. And find kind of right where that junk ends. And bring that around. This is only a rough cut. And tape around the base of the horn. And then going to take your common hardware store hacksaw and cut around the base. Just like that. I then can get rid of the tape and I have a rough cut. The next thing I gotta do is figure out the where this inside the horn, you can see it's hollow inside, where it becomes solid. So you take a wire, I'm going to match that radius, I'm going to bring that wire in, and that's telling me right there. That it's solid there so I can mark that and then I'm going to go a little bit in front of that and draw a line to cut. Not much. Um, I'm going to bring that line around. I do find that the wire will oftentimes give you a false reading so I like to go a little closer to the line and again you're going to take your hacksaw and chop the tip off So I chop my tip off, again I'm going to check where that horn is saying that it should be solid at. It's like that I might have got a bad reading. Saying I got about an inch to go, I'm going to mark that. So, I know if I get past, if the drill bit gets much longer than this, I have an issue. So I'm now going to stick the horn like this, and drill crossways, and now I, have a, I know where to put my hole. 
and then I'm going to draw a few lines to make sure I stay square with the horn and you want to take your common well in this case you can use any knife with a point and stick that in the center then gouge out a nice hole um, and then I'm going to get ready and drill my hole I'm going to start out with a 3 16th drill bit and I'm going to put in your common drill you can use a wireless drill, a hand crank drill, or in this case an old corded drill. I've probably drilled 20 horns with this drill here. But I'm figuring most of you guys have an electric drill like this, so that's why I'm using it for the video. There's a nice started with a 3 16 drill bit and I'm going to probably use this just as a pilot. I'm going to get that on my mark. Make sure it's tight. I'm really going to be looking making sure I'm going towards the center of the horn when it's doing that that means you've likely broken through so If I show you this, you can see I now have a hole that goes through the horn. The next thing I want to do is get rid of this junk on the outside, which is a pretty easy process. So to clean this outside up a little bit, the first thing I'm going to do is take one of these rassies. Four and one rafts are great for horn work. Um, and you can pick them up at a hardware store for like less than 15 bucks. So, I'm going to go over everything using the course sign. Once I get the roughest of the rough out, I'm going to take a can of bucket or can of water big enough to put the horn in and dip it in there and I'm going to let it sit there for about 10 minutes or so. So now after you let, let it soak in water, the horn will become a little bit softer. And that will make it scrape really well. So again, I'm going to take this old um, pocket knife. I'm going to start scraping it down.
scraping, I'm holding the blade vertical to the horn and just pushing. I'm not, I'm not carving, I'm not whittling, I'm just pushing. That, that's the key to scraping. You don't want to carve these, then you have, you end up with gouges in most cases. And you constantly want to be moving so you don't end up with a flat spot. Now that the horn is dry, I can go through and file my troubled areas again. Something you can also look at is the thickness of your base. You might want to try to even that up a bit. I can see I have a lot more material there. So I'm going to take the rough, it's a lot more thicker here than it is the rest of the horn. So I'm going to take my rasp side. Even that out a bit. Now that I soaked it again, I'm gonna do another scraping. So again, blade vertical. You know, what? you can use a pocket knife. You can use an exacto knife. You can use a utility knife. You're going to use a furniture scraper, they all work all right. And I think I think that's good at the moment. So you can see the horn has a hole in it, the base is trimmed, and I got most of the roughness now. The next video I'm going to show you how I'm going to shape up the neck a little bit to make it look a little more attractive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And have a good day.